Hey guys, Tech Genie here. We're about to do a unboxing of the Raspberry Pi 2. This just came in today. Um, so this is the new Raspberry Pi. Came out this year, February 2015. Updated from the Raspberry Pi 1. Uh, it says, well, yeah. So here it has a link to the um, how to get started. So I'll put the link in the description, and I'll also put a uh, link to a PDF explaining how all the bits work on it. That's the box. Let's see what's inside this. Okay, so this is just a little information thing, compliance and safety information, warnings, getting it, instructions for safety, it's all of that. So let's put that aside. Right, so here we have the Raspberry Pi 2. So, let's take it out of this anti-static bag, and here we go, the Raspberry Pi 2. Right, so let's walk you through this. So this is the Raspberry Pi 2, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this to the side and we're going to look at this compared to the Raspberry Pi 1. So this is its baby brother, the Raspberry Pi 1. Now immediately you can see that the Raspberry Pi 1 is slightly larger, um, less USB ports and um, less GPIO pins. So the Raspberry Pi 1 had 256 megabytes of RAM um, and only a 700 megahertz processor, whereas compared to the Raspberry Pi 2, we have 1 gigabyte of RAM and 900 megahertz um, quad-core processor. So the largest difference, I guess, is the uh, amount of USB ports we have. So we have four USB ports in this one and only two on the Raspberry Pi 1. So for example, you can put in a Wi-Fi dongle or whatever you want in there. We have the similar, or I think identical, Ethernet port on the sides here, same sort of thing, um, headphone jack on the side on the Raspberry Pi 2 as we do on the Raspberry Pi 1. Right, so here walking through this we have the HDMI lead, or HDMI port, sorry, that you can plug into any um, display. So the USB port, you can, if you have a uh, Samsung phone, you can use one of their chargers, but um, Raspberry Pi do sell a power lead themselves. The cool thing about this is the little Raspberry Pi logo, if you can see that there. So yeah, little Raspberry Pi logo for the little Raspberry Pi. Um, and obviously this would just plug into the Raspberry Pi there. So plug in like that and then into the wall for power. So that's useful that they sell that as well. Moving around we can see here a micro SD card slot where you put micro SD card in. Um, a large difference here is this compared to the old Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi 1. Right, so here you can see the large difference of the USB port. So if you look, this is the size of um, a uh, SD card that slots in there, so that's how it would work. Whereas obviously you can see on the Raspberry Pi 2 you would use a micro SD card. Right, so let's do a quick comparison of the SD cards. This is for the Raspberry Pi 1 and a micro SD card for the Raspberry Pi 2. So turning these over, you can see the obvious size difference. Now. The main reason for the change, I believe, is putting the SD card into the Raspberry Pi 1 is actually quite a bit, is quite difficult, and taking it out is a bit of a job to do. Whereas, if you look on the Raspberry Pi 2, putting the micro SD card in is just a bit of a breeze, really, and it just clicks in and clicks out really easily, and it's obviously a lot easier to use because of its size. So, um, that reminds me, the USB ports. Here is an example of something that you could use the USB ports for. What we have here is a uh, wireless or wireless Wi-Fi dongle. So let's just have a quick look at what's in here. Um, so obviously you would just put that into your USB port like that. So yeah, obviously you can use the dongle with uh, the Raspberry Pi 1, but that's the Raspberry Pi 2. So the performance. The Raspberry Pi 2 has at least six times more processing power than the previous Raspberry Pi, which I'm sure you'll agree is a lot. Um, so for example, in sorting and rearranging queued files and words, things on the Raspberry Pi 2, it would run a lot faster. So we have reviews saying it's running up to 14 times the work rate of the Raspberry Pi 1, which is massive. So uh, I reckon that pretty much sums up the Raspberry Pi 2. We will have some videos coming up shortly or in the future on how to use this and set up maybe the uh, Wi-Fi dongle and set up the Raspberry Pi using it for different things. Thanks for watching guys. Um, please rate this video, comment and subscribe.
Thank you.